insiders have cautioned Meghan Markle about the potential repercussions of discussing her life as a former member of the royal family, especially when it pertains to Catherine, Kate. Reports suggest that Meghan and Harry, who recently received a nomination for a Hollywood Critics Award for their Netflix documentary, are currently exploring various possibilities for future projects. However, they must exercise caution before divulging additional details about their decision to relocate from the UK to California in 2020, as they did in their previous six-part documentary series. Earlier speculations surrounding Meghan's intention to write a revealing memoir akin to her husband's were swiftly debunked. Instead, recent reports indicate that Meghan and her team are actively pitching ideas to Netflix for potential collaborations. Notably, during their 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey, Meghan made allegations of discrimination and bullying against the royal institution. As a result, Meghan recently reached out to Oprah to request a follow-up interview slated for August this year, seeking redemption after facing substantial criticism following her initial bombshell revelations. According to sources, Meghan appears to have shifted her focus away from reshaping her public image in a positive light and now recognizes that airing controversial matters could generate greater financial returns. While the specific nature of the upcoming interview remains uncertain, Oprah is said to be considering the request. However, working with Meghan again may prove challenging, as the insider suggests. During Meghan's appearance on Oprah's show, she castigated the royal family for their apparent lack of comprehension regarding the significance of mental health. Observers were struck by Meghan's appearance, as she was heavily adorned with dark eyeliner, a visual choice that spoke volumes without her needing to utter a single word. The association with Princess Diana's notorious panorama interview, in which she criticized the royal family and questioned Prince Charles's suitability as king, was also evident. One particular clip from the Oprah interview depicted Meghan's frustration regarding Archie not being bestowed the title of prince, whereas William's children hold such titles. Though it is widely known that great-grandchildren typically do not receive such designations, Meghan's visible exasperation was evident. Her dissatisfaction with the situation appeared genuine. Despite attempts by the Montecito couple to reposition their brand away from incessant criticism of their royal relatives over the past year, it seems that their offerings rooted in scandal continue to captivate public attention. In a conversation with the Daily Star, PR expert Edward Coram James of Go Up noted that the Sussexes' most notable successes in the media have stemmed from scandal-driven narratives. Given their recurrent entanglements with entertainment industry figures, there may be a temptation to revert to their earlier practices of criticizing the royal family. However, reports suggest that Princess Kate remains resolute in not allowing herself to be taken advantage of and continues to fiercely protect her family. Having already broken the golden rule of never complaining or explaining, Kate is prepared to defend both herself and the royal family. She has shown tremendous tolerance and restraint, but even she has her limits. This latest revelation is seen as a clear message to Meghan to refrain from making derogatory comments about Kate in the future. The insider stresses that Kate is unafraid to fight back if necessary, and Meghan should exercise caution moving forward.